All right, and welcome. Well, <laughs> the USAC guys are going right now, but welcome to a, another edition of Inside the Helmet here at OpenPaddock.net. I'm with uh, Bruno Pali, Diego Ferreira, EJ Viso, and Ricardo Juncos, uh, Juncos Racing, uh, here to talk about the, uh, the Venezuelan recruitment program that uh, EJ and Ricardo have started up this, uh, this weekend, or I'm sorry, this, uh, this season. And, uh, and Bruno and Diego are the first recruiter, or recruitees of, uh, of that program. So gentlemen, welcome. Welcome. Well, first of all, it's uh, in the personal side. I know these two guys for over 10 years, and they pretty much they follow my career somehow. You know, they've been in the same similar categories in karting, also in open wheel. They've both been in, for a little bit in Europe, and now they came to to the states. They they want to be in IndyCar pretty soon. So, as a public person, as a public figure that I'm in my country. I just put one plus one and it's obviously two. I know these two guys, I have a lot of faith in them. I know they can go pretty far. And I just pretty much helped them to, to, to put all this package together. Then I went and spoke with the one I thought he was the best team, that it was for me obviously Ricardo, and that's the reason why we're working together. And back home I just put all my contacts together, my name, and I helped them raise the, the budget required to come and raise in here. Well, um, we've been in the city for three years. This is our four years in the Star Mazda. So, in the beginning of the year, we make this relation with Chile, and basically, it's an agreement between Hungo Racing and the Formula 3 of Chilean um, whether they found a group of sponsors to support one driver a year. So, the champion of Formula 3 in Chile will race with us in the Star Mazda. Um, when we were racing Star Mazda, before it was different class, today is part of this road to Indy. And I agree with that system. I, I think it's a great, great program uh, to develop driver for the future. So after three years in the Mazda, I think we are one of the top teams. Um, we, we won the championship in 2010 with Connor Daly. Um, we keep growing as a team as well. And uh, we have an Indy Lights team also. Um, so we meet each other in the beginning, late, late last year with AJ, and he presented to me this idea he has and obviously it's, a, it's an honor for us to work with DJ. Um, you know, it's, what we can say, you know, it's an extremely experienced driver. He would race all over the world and uh, representing Venezuela. So I really agree and I trust him and uh, the idea he has to, to help young drivers, I think it's, it's huge, it's good and, and also should say serve, um, serve as a sample for maybe other people too in this, in this program. So that's why we are together. Um, so we, we have this this year putting together really really good with four drivers and Bruno and Diego are performing really good through the year so we working together to 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 help them to develop them and, and try to build driver for the future which I think is is the goal of this Star Mazda and it's this road road to Indy program. Empecé desde muy pequeña en automovilismo, en el karting. Eh, fui surgiendo a medida de mis campeonatos y mis carreras. Y, y bueno, ya cuando yo hice auto el automovilismo, decidí que Ernesto Viso, con su nuevo equipo de Team Viso Venezuela, me ayudara y nos diera el apoyo que tanto él ha aprendido con tanto tiempo de experiencia que tiene en el automovilismo. Bueno, well, empecé en go-karts cuando era 8 años. I had eight years in, of experience in go karts and passed to Formula 4 1600. Uh, then he was in Venezuela. Then I, I did some race and then go to to Europe. I tried Europe Formula 3 and then back to 
to Latin America to, to race Formula 2000, Formula Renault 2000, the last year. And now I'm told with DJ and, and we we are part we are part of the Team Biso, racing the Sarmaza and following his career. Well, I mean, the, the racing is not really huge in our country, so I pretty much know them since they started. I think it's over 10 years ago I just uh, met them. I'm actually friends of Bruno because first I was friends of his father. Imagine Bruno was only six or seven, but I was already friends with his father. Then he started growing and I started helping him and following him. The same, pretty, very similar case with him. And that's how everything uh, just built up, little by little, since he moved to, to Spain, that he was doing the Formula 3 back in 2008. Uh, I, I've been, you know, giving him a hand with him. It's been, uh, again, a similar case. He, he took uh, a year in the Latin American uh, Formula Renault Championship. And then talking to them, I just pretty much asked them what do they wanted to do in their future, in their career, pretty much the goals were like mine, either Formula One or IndyCar, but I'm here in the IndyCar, so I told them uh, that over here I could, I could, you know, help them put a program together, and it's when we pretty much uh, clicked everything, and that's the, that's the reason why they're here with me. And, uh, Ricardo, uh, this year you've expanded into Firestone and Indy Lights, uh, as well as uh, your traditional Star Mazda. Yes, I mean, I agree with the whole system, so I think it's the right way to go, this uh, road to Indy program. So obviously it's, it's tough, you know, to manage them in one team, two teams even more, and three teams even more. So I always believe that things have to be right and the, and the right time, um, so all the conditions have to be proper ones and the right ones. So we have a lot of chance to have driver for next year for the USF 2000 class. So we will analyze him if we're gonna, if he's gonna be the right move because it's very important. Also, we don't, we keep the momentum we have in the Mazda as a one of the top teams. So it's very easy also to, to sometimes you you want to grow so fast and, and maybe the performance can can go down. So I want to make sure we we if we're gonna change something, it's gonna be better every time. So, but yes, I mean, we obviously, I would love to have eventually all the, all the teams to, to whether we, the driver can get through the team and, and, and perform and we can develop the driver for the future of IndyCars. Yeah. Uh, Bruno, is this your first time racing on an oval? And how do you like racing in the Star Mazda series compared to your past experience? Well, it, it was too weird. My first time in a oval, I, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, I had a lot of experience, 10 years of experience in a circuit and, and three scores, but oval is too weird. You have to be too focused on the, on the speed. It's, it's dangerous because you're close to the wall, but I don't like it. I, it was fast there. Um, I'm getting better. Um, let's see how how do this this race. Los circuitos y los ovalos son dos cosas totalmente distintas y de verdad sí me gustó mucho estar en los Estados Unidos y correr en los ovalos. Es algo bastante loco. No me imaginé que iba a ser así, pero de verdad me gusta y, y me ha ido bastante bien. He hecho muy buenos aprendizajes y buenos procedimientos sobre el, el ovalo y pienso que En esta carrera de, va a estar bastante bien y, y las próximas que vienen en Óvalos también. Okay. And how has uh, racing here at Star Mazda uh, affected your, uh, your visibility, your uh, how people see you back in Venezuela? How has your uh, racing here in the States uh, changed how people see you back home? ¿Y cómo lo ven en Venezuela? ¿Y cómo te ha cambiado desde que, estamos, desde que están aquí corriendo en categoría con nosotros, todo en Venezuela? Yeah, we think that the Mazda obviously is a category of the road to Indy. I think it's another level, it's a professional level. Uh, a lot of people in Venezuela see the, see the race, we are in a lot of uh, TV programs, and this is too, too important for us and for our sponsors. Uh, we are very, very proud of that. And, and we are on the ring following the, the AJ career, and obviously our, our dream is going to 
to IndyCar and beat him. So we are we are very exciting about the the plan that we have to all the team Biso. Bueno, de verdad el cambio que hemos tenido nosotros en Venezuela ha sido bastante drástico, ya que hemos contado con el apoyo de Ernesto con lo que está haciendo, eso ha cambiado nuestro, mucho nuestra imagen, hemos conseguido patrocinante gracias a eso. Y bueno, que los sponsors no quedan nada mal en, es, en estas oportunidades. Y correr, correr aquí en los Estados Unidos nos ha abierto muchas puertas en Venezuela también. Well, first, uh, we're going to finish this season. Uh, that was the plan from the beginning. Uh, things are really good. Um, we've been working together really good, and it's really good to be working with DJ and all this experience and sharing with the team, not just with these two guys, but with the whole team. So it's, it's a huge improvement for us. So things looking good. Um, we have some ideas for next season, but we got to first focus on this one and make sure we perform every race, every time on track properly. and. And after the, the, this season, we have like pretty much five, six months of season, so we, we have plenty of time to figure out, but for sure there is more things coming in the future.